We have just moved and you can actually look at the whole process on our moving vlog um, which I'm not sure if it'll be up before this or after this so just keep an eye out for that subscribe and you'll see everything that pops up that we post but I've been wanting to do this video for such a long time so I thought I would just get it done today when I have a little bit of time and this is the video of the symptoms that I felt that let me know that I was pregnant before the positive pregnancy test. This is something that I really didn't think I would be able to tell just because, you know, having experienced chronic illness before, it kind of all gets blurred, like which symptom is what, and maybe it's old symptoms returning, or it's something that I'm so familiar with and so comfortable with that I wouldn't even recognize. But, I was getting negative pregnancy tests for a long time. As you guys have seen in my video where I find out that I'm pregnant and I show like the whole journey of testing. And my last period was on the 16th of January and I found out that I was pregnant on the 14th of February. Apparently I ovulated late because I was getting negative tests all the way up until the 14th of February. So. The doctors say that I ovulated late and also my due date is a little bit later so it's not according to my last period it's like a week later because they say that I ovulated late I don't know how accurate that is but they went by the measurement of the baby plus I was getting negative pregnancy tests so I'm sure maybe it is accurate I still think the baby is gonna come a little bit early having said all of that I am now 33 weeks pregnant <laughs> So it's been a long time coming and this was actually a very long time ago that I was getting these negative pregnancy tests. So I have notes, I have notes that I took down during the time. So it's gonna be a little bit of a journey back for me too. But something that I wanted to say is that I kept on testing, even though I got the negative tests, I kept on testing because I know my body and I was so confused by the negative pregnancy tests if you watch that video when I was testing, you'll see how confused I really was. And I kept like squinting and like really looking at those tests because I was like, I've got to be pregnant. I have to be pregnant. I know my body. This is not like chronic illness symptoms. So what were the symptoms that showed up that let me know that I was pregnant before I even had a positive pregnancy test? Let's go over them. So the first one that everybody says that you will feel when you're pregnant is swollen and enlarged breasts. But this also happens when you're getting your period. So it's a very hard to tell. For me, I did have swollen and enlarged breasts, but it does come every month for me. However, this time, it felt more soft and watery rather than hard and painful. So usually every month it comes and I'm like, I don't really have the biggest um, breasts. So every month it's kind of like hard and sore, but this time it was more like bloated and watery. So that was a little bit different. It's like a subtle difference, but it's something that I did notice and was like curious about. I also just felt bloated in general, like my whole body felt bloated and I was waking up with a puffy face on some mornings. So some mornings I was waking up with a really puffy face. Okay, my face is puffy now because I'm 33 weeks pregnant, but back then it wasn't puffy every morning and I was waking up with puffy face, which was another sign for me because that hadn't happened in a very long time okay yes during my chronic illness or when I was like very allergic or living in a moldy environment those things happen so if you are in those situations maybe you are getting puffy face but I hadn't gotten that for a very long time and I was waking up with puffy face I was feeling bloaty and feeling uncomfortable <music> Another symptom that was really weird is that I felt something in my muscles 
that I just needed to stretch them. You know, like a morning stretch that like feels so good. I felt the urge to do that all the time. Like my muscles felt stiff and almost like, almost like just, I cannot explain the feeling actually. <laughs> the muscles felt weird. I just felt like I needed to stretch the whole time. It felt congested. It felt uh, not free. It felt not loose not fresh it felt stagnant I, I don't know how to really explain but it felt really good to stretch out my muscles so that was another really strange symptom and it made me wonder it made me think there's something going on with the hormones there's something going on in my body there's changes happening here I also had a couple of days where I felt really highly strung and like easily frightened and jumpy and I know that that happens actually sometimes before my period when my hormones are heightened but this happened for just a couple of days and then it went away so I was feeling like all wired and highly strung and jumpy I think it was also with the excitement of the tests um, but it wasn't normal for me in this period so in my chronic illness yes i had that and my hormones were probably out of whack at that time but for a long time i hadn't had that and it had come back so i knew in my heart it wasn't chronic illness returning like why would it return um and so i thought this has to be pregnancy and also you know you can tell the difference between chronic illness and just hormonal imbalances. Even though the description sounds familiar, when it's chronic illness, it's so much heavier. It's like paired with so much more. It's hard to explain. The description might sound the same from somebody explaining it because we have limited words and phrases to use, but I could feel that this was just like something. It wasn't like a heavy illness type of thing. If that makes sense. These next two symptoms were the dead giveaway for me. And when I told Ross, he was like, oh, come on, it's so normal, but it is not normal for me. This was the dead giveaway. When I was brushing my teeth, my gums were bleeding slightly and I was gagging really easily when I was brushing my teeth, which never happens for me. So my gag reflex very early on kicked in. And for me, I was like, okay, this is not normal. This is not normal. This is the giveaway. Something is up. Like I just knew something was up after that. I also had very dry skin and I was very thirsty. Like very thirsty to a point where I was downing one liter of coconut water daily and it was feeling so good and the colder the better like it was just so satisfying if I did that now I would not feel that satisfaction but I was downing like a liter of coconut water from a liter bottle and or they come in like those boxes and it was feeling amazing to me so that also for me was a dead giveaway i was like why is this feeling so amazing that is not normal something is up i was also craving things that i don't usually eat so i was craving things with gluten dairy things that i don't usually eat and actually that's lasted the whole pregnancy and i've tried to to kind of still eat some gluten and dairy while pregnant because I don't want the baby to have extreme sensitivities. I do want to expose his system to it. So I have carried that on, but I've tried to do it in moderation, but that's where it started. I started craving it. I started craving like sandwiches, which I don't usually crave. I started craving um, chocolates, like actual chocolates, where usually I eat like vegan chocolates and, and healthy chocolates with healthy ingredients, but I wanted like Mars bars and I don't know if you have Mars bars in the USA, but um, I think it's a UK thing, but we have it here and bounty bars, like coconutty um, chocolate bars. So, and I was open to eating them. Usually if I would crave something like that, which I don't think was very often back then, I would just let it pass. I would just say, okay, and I would have the healthy version. 
but I was feeling um, free to explore. It was like this freedom feeling to to allow myself to do that. Um, and that came from my physiology. I could feel it was coming from my physiology. So that was also different. Oh, and my next point actually is that I was more spontaneous than usual. Like I was feeling the sense of freedom and breaking my own rules that I usually have for myself. So these rules that I have for myself are actually things that I enjoy. I enjoy eating healthy. I enjoy sticking to a routine, but I was feeling more spontaneous. I was feeling more freedom. I was feeling more like just wild. <laughs> and maybe that was hormonal. I don't know, but that was also something. So that made me also eat foods that I wouldn't usually eat and do crazier things than I would usually do. Then I also got like pains in the stomach um, and I remember my stomach felt like almost like it was paining because it was empty so I thought that it was a hunger pain but then when I ate it got worse like it didn't improve so that was weird and i remember feeling like a bit more space in my stomach i felt like it was like more spacey down there so that was also weird because actually usually i don't get hungry easily i'm just the person who doesn't really get hungry easily usually nowadays i do <laughs> but it was weird for me so i thought that i was hungry i was like okay maybe i'm getting hungry and that's why my stomach sore it was like a gassy pain almost like gassy, gurgly, and like almost like there's space and things going on in there. And I would eat and I would get worse. So yeah, that was also weird. And then lastly, I was getting cold chills and I'm not a person who gets cold easily. I'm usually somebody who's usually feeling more hot than cold. And I was getting cold really easily and I was getting cold chills and then out of the blue I would just feel like really 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 hot so that was another weird thing I was wearing like jerseys and jackets around the house I was like feeling really cold I never do that so that was another thing that signaled to me that something was not normal and all of these signs combined is what had me convinced that I had to keep on testing because I was like, this can't be chronic illness. This can't be symptoms returning. It's got to be something exciting because I was feeling spontaneous and free. So yeah, I think you know, I think you know, but I think that you have your doubts because you don't want to get excited and yeah, you don't want to get too excited. So you keep yourself cool and calm and collected but you kind of know so that's why I kept on testing and eventually it was positive and as you can see I am very pregnant now in fact I am huge some of those things have actually stayed a little bit especially the hunger aspect and the craving things that I don't usually crave um, but it's been a really smooth pregnancy and I'm really grateful for that and really lucky for that. So if you are experiencing any of these signs and you're wondering if you're pregnant and it's not normal for you, obviously it's different for everyone, so if it's not normal for you and you are experiencing any of these signs that I experienced, keep on testing and you might just get that positive test. And if you haven't watched my video where I was testing and I eventually got the positive, please do watch that video. It's a really, really exciting and special video and a moment that I will never forget finding out that I was pregnant and it's just been such a special, miraculous time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for some more updates and more tips on health and wellness and non-toxic living for yourself and for baby. My focus here is very much health, happiness, inner peace, health on all levels, non-toxic living and creating the life for yourself that you've always wanted in every aspect. So follow along and I'll see you next time. Bye.